it's very natural uh, being around dogs because we have six dogs at home in Brazil and since my childhood I used to feed street dogs with my grandmother. I was walking one day in the park during COVID when everyone was so scared and, and I looked at the guy who was walking the dogs and I said, I want to be a dog walker. And the guy, he, he approached me and he offered me a trial the day after. That's how it started. Because I've started walking immediately with eight dogs. So people who are actually starting and doesn't have the experience being with dogs, they start with one dog, two dogs, and take the difficult ones. When you take the difficult ones, that's when you learn. It's an early business. I have some repeated customers, but it doesn't cover my living cost. So I had to have another job on the side working from home as a media sales consultant. You need to have a very good communication with your client because you're dealing with someone's best friend, is someone's child. Listen to people patiently before we talk. So good communication or if you want to have an extra income, or if you want to have a career change, if you are committed to get to some place at that time, it's your commitment to be there. Even if it's raining, you have to be there. And also you have to learn how to relax because some dogs, they are pulling on the lead and they're going to start dragging you along. So if you, if you're not relaxed, um, they can feel it. In order to be a successful dog boarder, I think you have to be a bit of a magician. But it starts with a love of dogs. If you, if you don't have a passion for dogs um, and a, a deep understanding of, of canine behaviour um, and an acceptance that uh, despite however um, well-disciplined and, and um, uh, structured your, your days are with, with dogs, um, there are going to be times when there's a mess where you don't want one um, or there's a little bit of noise where you don't necessarily always want it. Um, it's important to also remember that it can easily become um, seven days a week and sometimes that includes nights, particularly if you have a dog that's unsettled or poorly um, or suffer suffering from separation anxiety that, that uh, for whatever reason hasn't been picked up in, in pre-assessment. Um, so you need patience and understanding, you need flexibility, um, you need to be reliable and trustworthy, and you need to have compassion and, and empathy. Um, and I think, you know, if you're considering becoming a dog boarder, it's important to make sure you have the right skills and attributes necessary to be successful. Um, and also be prepared to put your hand out and ask for, for help and guidance from fellow professionals who have been there and, and got the t-shirt as it were and if you can get that blend right um, and then you, you should be uh, on the road to a, a successful environment. I do a group of dog walking Tuesdays and Thursdays, uh, home boarding when people go for holidays, you don't need to have that regular service and daycare for regular clients only, they want to have a day off or they, they're going back to work and I also do training. Um, obviously, the commitment and responsibility around having a dog is massive. Um, particularly, I think Frenchies are quite demanding. They're very, um, they want to be around you all the time and they don't like being left alone. Um, so yeah, that's, that side of things I think is, has been a lot, but it's kind of suited our lifestyle as we've evolved with him. And we, yeah, we love having him. So at the moment, for example, um, like I've been speaking to Mariella recently about scooters and skateboards because the sound just makes him go a bit crazy. So Mariella has been, been looking at doing some training with him and that, um, even the Hoover as well. Um, so yeah, that at the moment, but there's lots of things, you know, how he interacts with other dogs in the park and getting him to recall. Um, it, did, it doesn't ever stop, I wouldn't say. This is force free training. Come, come. Only using treats. It's a longer way of stopping that behavior. Come. come. 
but you cannot do that for more than two minutes per day. Or otherwise you'll get stressed and you will stop learning. You'll just stress about it. The other way of doing it, the sleep leash, but because some people they don't know how to use, they're not confident using the leash, I would not recommend um, because that can cause other behaviors because you need to have your arms relaxed, short, just put it on his neck, under his neck, look, you see here, yeah? I only have two clients with two dogs because they're very scared of their dogs being with other dogs. It is cheaper, much cheaper to leave a sitter at their home looking after their dogs um, than bringing the dogs here and do home boarding. Porque eu primeiro procurei a Mari para fazer educação deles para ajudar a ensinar a usar toalete, socialização. E depois disso, eles gostavam muito de vir para cá, então eu continuei com o daycare para continuar a socialização, para eles gastarem energia e ficar mais comportados em casa. Eu tive que entender que eu sou a líder, não eles. Então, Antes de eu conhecer a Mari, eu, os hábitos com os meus cachorros eram mais igual para igual. Hoje eu sei que eu sou a líder, eu tenho que, eu tenho que dar o comando a eles, para eles me obedecerem. Isso foi o principal. Matt? Matt? Matt, Matt, sit, Matt, Matt, you. The Pomeranians, they are very excited when you have a guest coming to your house. You can actually train the dog owners to be calm when the guests are coming, but not you cannot train the guest. For them not to barking at guests when they come is best to separate the dog in a different room. If they're not socialized with other people or the dogs, they start having some kind of unwanted behavior. Not everyone can afford this service. So to separate from the dog, you have the anxiety. Dogs, they mirror their, their honor, um, including their personalities, which is really funny. But uh, if you have anxiety and you can't leave your dog alone, and when you Leave your dog alone, it's going to start, your dog going to bark, your neighbor's going to complain. I live with other people, in, I live with two girls in the house, and sometimes they're not home, sometimes they're at home, so maybe some, someone knocks on the door, and their anxiety causes distress, not just in your life, but also for the dog's life. I had to learn how to relieve that stress, that anxiety, by training that requires practice and patience. Well, I saw Mariella walking in the park with other dogs and it was quite clear she was a dog trainer, dog walker, and we were looking for someone for Dolly to stay with. And so I approached her, asked some questions, and then Dolly had a trial stay with her. Um, and I think Mariella just seemed really friendly with the dogs. They looked really eased, just a really nice manner because when you're leaving your dog for the first time, it is a little bit like leaving your child with somebody. You want to know they're going to be safe and loved. 
um, and the trial went really well and and then from there on in we used Mariella. I'd say Dolly is a very loving dog. She can be a little bit needy as a dog. Um, she doesn't like to be left on her own. Um, and with Mariella's help, we built up the time period that Dolly could be left on her own, which was really helpful for us as a family with the kids at school and we both work. Um, so that was really helpful. She can be left alone in my place, not when it's not since we started, but um, now I do leave her alone and she's absolutely fine for up to two hours. Because I have other dogs and, and they change and she, she barks to some people not everyone, when they walk through the door. Some people can be quite frustrating because they say, why she doesn't bark to, like there's another two people in the room, she doesn't bark and then she's barking at me, but she can't stop barking at me. But that's to do with her personality and she doesn't like some people, that's what I believe, and dogs can lie. Um, I chose dog boarding because we were going away for a few days on holiday and he needed to be taken care of. I wanted him to be in a home environment where he'd be very well looked after. He's um, a family dog, he, you know, it was better for me that he was in a home with somebody um, that I knew. I knew Mariela from having taken care of him before and um, I knew that he was going to be close and uh, in a house with other dogs and um, basically I needed him to be uh, um, loved for a few days. So as well as dog boarding I have Mariella regularly walks Rosie and I've seen her change in her in that she's more open to meeting unfamiliar people however she still gets quite scared when Mariella does take my dog Rosie she is more at ease I've seen her come out of her shell and come out to meet other people that she doesn't necessarily know she's still quite scared she's a Romanian rescue so she is got high anxiety levels and I have seen that she does interact with dogs better as well since going to Mariella. When I have many dogs, because dogs, they have different routines. Some dogs, they wake up at two o'clock in the morning for poop. So you have to wake up and open the garden door at two o'clock in the morning. As some dogs, they go to bed at six, others they at 10 o'clock, they will oh, play. So it really depends on the routine they have with their owners. Um, but within two, three days, they adapt quickly here. So I do my exercise in the morning, um, and then I take them for a walk. They normally sleep throughout the afternoon, dogs who are used to stay here. Dogs who are not used to stay here, they're more playful. They want to play or want to observe the other dogs. And then I give them dinner and do another ritual for dinner around five o'clock in the afternoon. If it's raining, the garden door is closed, um, so I take them out every two hours for the toilet breaks. If uh, it's not raining and it's not cold, I would say more than 16, 17 degrees, I'll leave the garden door slightly open for them to come and go to the toilet. With this new routine, I found my Ikigai. That's the Japanese philosophy that everyone has an Ikigai. That's the reason why you wake up every morning. And I wake up every morning to take dogs to the toilet. So, and I go to the nature and I meet my spiritual with my day-to-day -to, -day to life.